Good morning. It's nine o'clock, uh, September 19. Uh, heading up to Algonquin. Um, it's going to be a two or three nighter. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I guess I will on the way up. Uh, it's, it's beautiful weather. Um, it's going to be like in the mid to high 20s. Uh, today's a little overcast, but that's supposed to clear up. And uh, the rest of the week is supposed to be sunny and warm. So, uh, looks like I lucked out for uh, for September weather. But uh, anyway, heading up to Algonquin, uh, we're doing Byers Lake. I've been trying to get into this lake for like two years, but uh, different uh, weather and road conditions and, and things like that have uh, prevented me from going in there. So, finally getting a chance, uh, doing a solo. Um, anyway, yep, I gotta, I gotta put some miles in here and, uh, and get up there. But, uh, hey, we'll see you up there. Hello. It's 12 o'clock. I'm Matt Byers now. Um, it's, uh, I'm the only one here, which is really nice. Not sure what this stuff is. Probably somebody left their garbage. Somebody left the garbage. Uh, lock the door. Locked. Okay, so it uh, the thirty percent chance of rain today turned into a hundred percent. It was raining. Uh, it's not raining right now, but there is a few drops in the air. So uh, I suspect I'll probably get wet. Uh, I'm really excited for this trip. Been a couple of years coming, <laughs> but uh, anyway, there he's. So here's the uh, here's the access point, King Scott Lake. A couple of outhouses over there. Anyway, this lake has uh, has lake trout in it, um, and they're, it's their own uh, own special breed. You can see on the bottom, they're called silver lake trout. Um, they don't have any spots like a like a regular one does. I've caught one in here before, but uh, I'm not fishing until I uh, until I get into the lake, because uh, I got quite a ways ahead of me. I think it's about uh, it's four or five kilometer paddle, and then I hit a 1,450 meter portage. I think. <coughs> anyway. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do some posts along the way. I gotta get going. Well, it's, uh, one o'clock. I think it is. Yeah. And, uh, took me an hour to, uh, to paddle the lake. It's, uh, it's pretty calm here in the, in the bay. But I, I, uh, I had a headwind the whole way. And, uh, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, it uh, it took less time than I thought it was going to take. I, I wasn't really sure. I'd never paddled actually this far uh, solo before. So this this whole uh, this whole trip is going to be uh, um, kind of an experience for me because uh, I haven't paddled this far, I haven't portaged this far, and I haven't uh, stayed this long uh, solo before. So uh, it'll all be uh, it'll all be good experience. Uh, really looking forward to it. There's the uh, portage right there. Over there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there's a campsite. This is the last one on the lake, uh, and it's a nice one. And you can't see it from uh, the GoPro, but it's got a picnic table on it. So top drawer for uh, for that uh, campsite. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to paddle over there and uh, I'm going to try to do uh, single carries this whole trip, uh, which we'll see how that goes because the first portage is uh, about, I think it's marked 1300, but uh, Jeff's Maps says that uh, it's 1450, I believe. 
Um, and the last part of the portage is notoriously wet uh, that I've read. And with this year being all rain, I imagine uh, it's going to be pretty ugly. So anyway, I gotta get mo I gotta get moving. So uh, we'll we'll chat a little bit later. It's beautiful. The sun's starting to come out now. It was sprinkling uh, a little bit. The rain was just a very gentle rain on the way over. But uh, I'm dry. So all right. See you in a bit. Well, finished the portage. It's uh, 10 after 2. Um, I've probably been sitting here for a few minutes, so. But uh, basically, uh, I guess that portage probably took me about uh, 45 minutes, maybe. I did do a single carry, but uh, I'd, I stopped three times. Um, yep, I'm out of shape. But uh, anyway, here's the lake. This is a uh, big rock. And you can see that it's kind of pretty low. Um, it's, it's all mud right there where I got to put the canoe in. So it might be fun kind of getting the uh, boat out of the mud. But basically, all I got to do is paddle over there to the other side and just go around the corner and uh, it's the next portage so this is just the top end of the lake um, there's nothing in this lake for fish uh, that I believe there's nothing marked on any of the maps anyway and uh, there's no campsites on the lake so this is just a drive-by but uh, anyway there's like socks all over the place there's a pair of socks over there. There's a couple pairs of socks here. There's like sandals up there. These are like kid socks. So I don't know. I guess I guess some kids came in here, uh, uh, or family. I guess uh, came in in the summer or something. But uh, there is tracks going in here, but nothing's fresh. So. Really looking forward to it. I'm so excited uh, for this trip. Haven't seen any moose yet. Uh, and they'll be getting close to be uh, close to the rutting season. So hopefully I don't see a big bull or one that's ornery. But anyways, I guess I shouldn't dilly dally around too much. I was going to stop here and take a break, but uh, I don't feel that bad now. My shoulders are kind of hurting a little, but uh, I feel okay now. So I guess I'll just jump jump in the canoe and paddle over to the other portage. Um, the other portage is like 660 or something like that, and like apparently 400 of it. The first 400 of it is all uphill, so it's a sh you know half the distance, but apparently it's supposed to be a, a toughie. But anyway, all right, we'll uh, see you on the other side of the lake. Hello, it's three o'clock. I made it on site on Byers Lake, y'all. I, uh, I've been wanting to get in here for two years or better, but, uh, anyway, this is a nice site. It's, uh, it's a little bit beachy, and, uh, somebody even went through the rigmarole of building a dock, although 
I don't think I'll I want to use it because none of these things are tied and the last thing I need to do is roll my ankle out here so it's raining still but uh, nice sight um, I was gonna paddle down and have a look at the other site and make my mind up which one that I wanted but um, I did hear that this is the uh, the better site out of the two um, but I'll set up here tonight and uh, tomorrow maybe I'll paddle down to the other end there well I will paddle down because I'm fishing tomorrow and uh, I'll check out the other site and if the other one looks nicer than this, then uh, I'll pull up and head down to that one. But anyway, I got the lake to myself. And it's so peaceful here. <laughs> There's no cell service. So, uh, I'm alone. I'm unplugged. But uh, anyway, it's nice. I, uh, it's still spitting. I got to, uh, I got to get a, get a tent set up. Not sure what these things are. Wieners. Somebody put wieners down here. Okay. Anyway. Yep. What the heck is that? Weird things all over. Yeah. So, anyway. I better get busy. I got a little while before I got to eat. There's a couple pieces of, of wood here, so I don't have to go far tonight looking to make a fire anyway. There's a few branches around. But uh, it's a nice sight. It should be good when it's nice and sunny tomorrow to get in here and be able to get out of the sun. But uh, you can see the fire pit here. Somebody's built a table. Uh, the thunder box is, uh, is like just over there. And right up top there is a beautiful big level spot. You could put like a huge big family tent up here. It's perfectly level. It's got grass. So there you go. Home for the night. What's this one here? This is a, this is a big dead tree. But uh, that's a little too big. For me to cut down, I like pole wood. But anyway, there's, I should find something dry around here. Anyways, guess I'll get busy. I need a drink. I'm real thirsty. So uh, we'll check in a bit later. Well, I just finished supper. Uh, I don't have any idea what time it is. 6.51. So, gathered up a little bit of wood. Got the fire going. I cooked uh, steak and uh, hash brown on the fire. Uh, got a little bit more wood cut up there. And over here... This is my setup this time. Um, I watched uh, I watched another YouTuber, and that's what he did. Is he brought a <clears throat> he brought a solo tent in, and then he brought a tarp uh, to go over top of it because he was uh, uh, he was in the rainy season this early early summer or spring. So uh, he brought the tarp because uh, he knew he was going to be sitting under it. And I thought, well, it'd be a good idea because uh, 
it gives me more room uh, getting out of the tent instead of having to maneuver around the vestibule. So I uh, thought I'd give it a try. Uh, today is the only day that we're supposed to have got rain. So um, I thought it'd be kind of nice too to keep the screens open and, you know, get a bit of breeze or whatever. Oops, can't leave these out here. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, I went down to the other end of the lake uh, and checked out the other site and it's garbage. Um, it's a little bit, it's a small site and uh, um, there is room for one or two tents, but it's a very small site and you're kind of basically on just in a little wee tiny island with bog behind you. But uh, anyway, there's like a tree, there's a spruce tree on the island and it's probably about a, a foot thick and somebody took an axe and it's a live tree. Somebody took an axe and, and just chopped it down. Like they must have spent like, I don't know how long it, how long it would have took them to, to chop it down, but it was chopped down with an axe and it's alive. So I don't know why people do that. But anyway, not much of a sunset tonight. Still pretty cloudy. Um, when I was just coming in from uh, trying the fishing, uh, one of those uh, Hercules planes or whatever the hell they are, I it wasn't as I guess it wasn't a Hercules. It wasn't quite that big, but uh, I think it was definitely a military. Uh, came in real low, just right at the top of the tree line and uh, flew right over top of me. So that was pretty cool. But anyway, no breeze tonight. There's a few mosquitoes around. Um, I'll just keep the fire going and and uh, just hang around the fire. I don't know how long I'll stay up. Depends how bored I get it, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, when I was, uh, when I was fishing, um, I did get a couple of hits. Uh, but they didn't stick. So that's kind of nice anyways. Uh, I know they're in here. And tomorrow morning, I'm probably going to go down to the end, down that way, uh, into the into the creek, or the river, I guess it is. It's the York River. I'm going to try that and uh, see if the trout are in the fast water. They seem to be out here in the lake, but uh, I'll give it a try. I got nothing else going on tomorrow. So anyway, yep, supper's over, dishes are done. Kind of just chilling out now. Get rid of my uh, my uh, aches and pains from from the trip coming in. My back's a little bit sore, but uh, I think I'll I think I'll do all right. So get a good sleep under my belt, and I'll be ready to go tomorrow. Yep. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I may uh, add a little more video tonight, but uh, if not, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's uh, seven o'clock. Had a good sleep. It's like dead quiet here. There's like no sound. Well, this morning there was squirrels running around. But uh, that's it. Nothing else. Never heard anything all night. Had pretty good sleep. <laughs> I uh, kept the screens open all night, so I had a, just the slightest little bit of uh, cool breeze coming in. I was plenty warm. So I guess this morning it's make coffee, 
and then uh, fish because I have to eat fish today so it's gonna happen so anyway well I'll check in a bit later well it's 10 o'clock I uh, jumped in the canoe and started down the creek to uh, to get some fish and uh, I got a bit of a surprise. I'm in here looking for uh, speckles. And, and I caught this monster. <laughs> a largemouth bass. He's probably on the three pound, three and a half maybe size. Nice fish. So anyway, I'm not throwing him back. I wanted, uh, I wanted fish for supper. Well, actually, I'm going to have fish for lunch, I guess. But uh, we're calling that fish lunch. There, uh, I'm at the first dam here. Um, I don't know, maybe I can spin it around and show you. Uh, there's the water's so high that uh, the dam is uh, is overflowing. But, uh, I was planning on going down further to get into a bit of fast water to try the trout, but uh, now that I got this fish here, I don't want it to dry out on me, so I guess I better get back and uh, <coughs> clean them up, have some lunch. Maybe head down there after lunch. So I didn't eat breakfast, and I brought some gorp with me because I figured I was going to be out here fishing for a while. But uh, that's not the case. So we'll head back and uh, we'll clean up this bad boy and have an early lunch. We'll call it a brunch. Still, uh, there's a, the slightest little bit of a breeze, but uh, it's great for paddling, um, especially here in the creek, there's even less breeze, so, beautiful spot, there's like absolutely no cell service here though. My phone went off once last night and I got one message and then the signal left just as fast. So I brought my phone with me because I thought maybe coming down to this end maybe coming down to this, this end I might find a signal but it didn't happen so we'll head back get some food in our belly the fish is gonna taste so good the leaves are uh, starting to change the maples and that uh, but Still, I think it's uh, probably only at 10%. Not too much. Some of the maples are starting to turn red. But this is the only time I can get out uh, before the end of September when the uh, speckled trout um, close up here. So, we'll see. This spot up here, I'm very close to it. I think it was in June I came in here on my, uh, on my bicycle. Yeah. Right over there. 
I came in on my bicycle and uh, rode the trail in. It's about seven kilometers. And I remember standing right on that rock and uh, and seeing the, the brook birds swimming around. So, well, I can't resist. I had to take a couple of gas while I'm in here. I caught the bass on a EGB. And it's a small one too. I'm really surprised that he hit it. But uh, as soon as he, uh, as soon as he hit it, I could tell it was uh, a big fish because it was just swimming wherever it wanted to. And I only have like four pound test on here. So I had to, uh, I got my drag loosened right off so that uh, they can run and this bass ran everywhere <laughs> the beaver in here has been busy Another one. I think this is a smallmouth. Oh, just came off. It was a smallmouth. that they like uh, the spoons too. I don't know. Yep. Shut this off. We can get this fella out of here. Well, you know what that is? That's a little bit of heaven right there. Well, I woke up from a little nap. <coughs> I think I laid down for about an hour and a half. Didn't really sleep all that much, but I did. I did sleep, and I feel uh, I, I felt better waking up. So now I got a second wind. I'm gonna paddle down the creek or river and uh, try the fish. So here's something uh, kind of interesting. I'm down at uh, the end of uh, a portage going into the into the York River, and uh, I uh, I found this log here sticking up, and it's got markings on it. So it must have been one of the logs from uh, when they used to do uh, the log runs. I don't know how old that would be. I don't know, it looks like a LB LB9. Have to get a little closer. Hmm. <laughs> 
Anyway, interesting. So that's it for the sunset. <coughs> I went up to uh, the other end there. Um, right down there. That's the north north end of uh, Byers. And it's the York River as well. And goes into another lake and I have to uh, I'll have to think about it again where the heck that is it goes to it goes to a couple of lakes in there um, where are we here so that's the York oh it goes to branch branch lake and then you can take a uh, a detour off to the right, which is uh, a thousand, a little over a thousand meter portage, and you can go into Scorch Lake. And there's a, there's supposed to be a, a nice um, lookout up there, but I didn't, uh, I didn't go there. The uh, the no see are out, and they're biting the crap out of me. I have like these little red dots all over me. So I'll look like a sight when I uh, when I get back to civilization. Ow, ow, ow. So I finished supper. I got the fire pit all prepped. And... I guess I'll be starting it up here anytime. <clears throat> here's a here's a little interesting tidbit. Um, Avenza Maps, which is on your phone, it pulls up. Uh, you can. Well, you have to download the ones you want, but they're all there's quite a bit of them that are free. But uh, anyway, what it does is uh, it's uh, Jeff's maps of Algonquin, and you can see the the blue dot there. That's where I am right now, and I don't have a phone signal, but. Uh, Somehow, it's there's still enough signal that uh, the GPS works on this. I tried it all day, looking at it, and um, it works. I don't know. It's pretty neat. But, yeah. So, I tracked where I was on the portages. Uh when I came in here and uh, I used it today when I was going up and down the river so yeah it's a it's a neat little app but anyway I'll uh, I'll sign off I don't know if I'll turn it back on tonight or not I'll just be sitting around the fire 
probably go to bed in a couple hours. <coughs> Get up early again. But anyway, that's it. Day two in the books. And I ate my supper down here and took some time-lapse photos of the uh, sunset. So, looks good. So I just got to clear up the uh, beach here for the night, put everything away, throw the canoe up, go light a fire. All right, have a good night. Good morning. It's day three. Um, Thursday? <clears throat> Seven o'clock in the morning. The, uh, the fog is still very much here. But off to the right is uh, east, and uh, it's already starting to burn off over there. Sun's on his way up. <coughs> I think it's going to be another scorcher today. I should uh, I should pack up early and get a lake or two behind me before. Uh, <clears throat> before it gets burning hot again. But uh, I contemplated on staying a, a third night. But uh, I decided to go back. <clears throat> it's nice and peaceful out here and the fish are biting and everything, but... Two days seems like enough. I have my uh, my sisters visiting from Australia, so um, I only I only took a week off to be with her. So I should spend as much time with her as I can. <coughs> but anyway, it's coffee time. I need to uh, I need to. Uh, you're making some coffee. I think I'm picking up a cold too, so that's going to make things not as pleasant either. Got to get the Baileys. I heard a heard a moose calling this morning, and you probably heard that loon out there. That's the, uh, the first time I've heard it. Since I've been here, it's been like dead silent. I haven't heard anything. And now I'm hearing all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, time for coffee. Well, I just finished the portage uh, from Little Rock to King Scott. I'm booped. Pooped. I'm pooped. I did a double carry this time. Uh, it's my first portage from Byers into Little Rock is a 660 and I did it in a single. Uh, on the way in, coming in to start my trip, I single carried both portages. But <clears throat> I, uh, the 660 coming out this time was pretty rough. <coughs> And I don't know what I did the other day, but I uh, I cranked my shoulder, and uh, it's it's not feeling the best, so I'm uh, I'm hurting a bit. But I took some uh, I took some uh, aspirin or whatever you want to call them when uh, when I woke up this morning. Well, I took some yesterday too, but. I took some this morning because I knew it was going to be painful getting out of here. And uh, after doing the 660 single carry, I just decided it would be easier to double carry this. It's twice the walking, but it wasn't that bad. <clears throat> I walked in and walked out and back, uh, back out again. And... Uh, First time with the pack, second time with the canoe, and uh, it wasn't that bad. I walked the whole way, 
and this time I listened to my phone, some songs on my phone, and it seemed to help the portage go a little quicker. It's a lot of a lot of ups and downs on on this one, but uh, there's only a few spots where it gets soupy, and the end of the portage, where where it shows in the on the map that it could get um, really wet, I don't see that. <clears throat> there's a couple of low spots along the way where it follows. Uh, some swamp like uh, right here probably about uh, 200 yards in it follows along this uh, this creek running out of King Scott it follows along the edge of the swamp so I could see in the spring that uh, that could be uh, you know with water levels up that could be pretty wet in there but uh, yeah you know th just the usual stuff there's nothing, uh, nothing that makes this uh, portage, you know, crazy, crazy ugly. But uh, it's a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> we uh, we canceled this trip in the spring uh, because of high water levels, and uh, I don't know. I don't know if it really would have made much of a difference. Um, Little Rock is low, like really low, uh, and I've seen it in, in other videos that people have done. Um, so I don't know what happened there. If a dam blew down at the end or something, but it's quite low. You gotta walk out into black muck to get into your canoe. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, other than that, uh, it, it went well. Um, I'm looking forward to actually doing a bit of canoeing now. <laughs> all morning long, it's it's been uh, all about the portages. So it's quite warm. I don't know what the temperature is, but uh, when you're packing, <coughs> you want my sh shirt and everything is soaked right down to my skivvies but anyway well it took me actually a half an hour more coming out than it did uh, than it did going in uh, it was three hours going in um, which was from the car to the campsite and this time I spent an extra half hour portaging so I guess I, I st still have probably close to an hour's paddle ahead of me. So, uh, <clears throat> be three and a half hours. Anyways, I'm just going to finish up some water, slab on the lotion, and hit the water. See you at the landing. Well, it's 20 after 1. I'm bushed. I think I'm out of shape. My upper body is, is just wrecked. <clears throat> my legs feel fine, although my one heel is a little sore. But, uh, yep, that's it, trip done. I'm uh, just on King Scott Lake heading out of here. <clears throat> I've been going since nine o'clock, and I think my tank's running low. I need to put some more food in it. I had some oatmeal this morning, but I'm gassed out. So I'm going to stop along the way somewhere and grab some food and drive. So good trip. Didn't get any speckled trout, but I still had a fish dinner. So And that's one lake that I've wanted to get into for the last couple, three years. So, cross that off the bucket list. <coughs> anyway, until next time, like, share, subscribe.